Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be looking at the Archangel lab from TryHackMe and this lab features a really cool local file inclusion that I wanted to show you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. The first thing we see when we browse to the IP ad address that we get given is this page that contains uh, very little. However, one thing stands out here, and that is that there is an email address up top here. Now this email address contains a domain name, mafialife.tryhackme, and it would not be unusable for a web server to host different content on a domain name uh, versus the IP address. So what I did is I added it to Etsy host, slash Etsy hosts, and you can see that I edit the IP address, then a tab, and then the domain name here. And that's going to allow my computer to know where to go if I enter mafialife.thm in the address bar. So let's go and enter http colon slash slash mafialife.thm. And this does indeed give us a different page. Okay, interesting. It shows under development. Well, what else can we do here? Well, uh, we can obviously start a scan a discovery scan, uh, do some content discovery, see what else is running on this web server. So I'm going to copy the URL here and we're going to run FF. And I'm going to run FF with a word list and my word list is going to be from sect list, um, discovery, web content, and then do we have a raft one? Let's do a raft small and then I guess files dot txt yes uh, then I'm gonna want to go for obviously my URL with dash u and I'm just gonna paste that in but I'm gonna append it with first and that's where ff is gonna replace uh, the words out of the word list uh, it's gonna put them there so let's run this and see if that works we find an index.html uh, a robots.txt and some more files However, the robots.txt and the index.html are the in most interesting ones. Uh, the, the rest of these are just all files starting with a dot, so that those are probably false positives. They return a 403 as well, so we wouldn't even have permission to view them. But okay, our index.html file uh, seems to be very small and it's probably just this under development page. So let's take a look at the robots.txt file. Uh, oh, and I just noticed we also have a test.php file. So let's look at both of them. Okay, robots.txt is showing that there is a test.php file. So cool, okay. Let's go to our test.php file then. And here we see we have a test page not to be deployed. And then we have a button. And if we click it, um, a get parameter gets appended to our URL containing a uh, question mark view equals slash var slash dub 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 slash html slash development underscore testing slash mr robot dot php okay so we probably have a web root here uh, the, the development underscore testing and then the rest of the url is probably the web root so that's interesting um, this would allude to a local file inclusion because well, we're including a file based on a get parameter based on something we as the attacker can control. So let's see if I can, for example, include the um, robots.txt file. And well, yes, we see the robots.txt file here. So that worked. Can I go for a, um, a bunch of dot dot slashes and then Etsy slash pass WD? No, that is not allowed. Can I just go for at Etsy slash passwd? No, not allowed either. So, okay, we cannot do everything uh, for some reason. Maybe we just don't have read permissions on this file. There's a lot of unknowns here. Um, so we need to keep on looking. Where do we go next? Well, there is this ID and that's called PHP wrappers. Uh, and PHP wrappers are things like HTTP is a wrapper. Uh, you have HTTP colon slash slash. You also have FTP colon slash slash, uh, data colon slash slash, but you also have PHP colon slash slash, and then PHP that can do some interesting things. 
For example, you can use it to uh, convert files to base64 and read them. So let's actually try that out. Let's um, go to a new one, new tab here and let's start our view get parameter with PHP colon slash slash. Now my goal is that I am able to read this main page here so that I'm able to view what these restrictions are, what I have to bypass to read any file that I want. So in this case, we're going to do a filter and this filter is going to convert from base64, it's going to encode it, so base64 encode it, and then we're going to select a resource to encode and my resource is going to be uh, the URL, um, so this URL, and let's run that, and now we get the MrRobot.php page back, which if I uh, look at it, so echo it out, and then base64 decode it, uh, it, it literally just echoes control is an illusion, okay. Can I also get go for this test.php file, however? It seems like yes. Um, so let's just um, decode this as well and see if this gives us some insight into how all of all of this is working. So this is a HTML page. I'll uh, quickly point it into uh, test.php so that we can look at it in Sublime Text here. Okay. So this is a web page and here we have our PHP code. Um, here it's going to check if a view get parameter is set. Uh, then if that's the case, it's going to do the following. It's going to check if um, the get parameter view does not contain the string dot dot slash dot dot. And if it contains the string var www.html development underscore testing. And if that's the case, then it's going to include that file. And this inclusion is where we get an LFI. This is where uh, our user input gets uh, used. So we want to bypass this if check. So we know that our string cannot contain dot dot slash dot dot. And it must contain var dub 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 html development underscore testing. So let's just start out with that first part. Um, because that's easy, because right now, boom, we we have that um, string is being included in this request now, and now we should be able to just get out of it like this and go back to the root like that. However, obviously that is not allowed because, well, this is being filtered out. Okay, how can we bypass that? Well, we need something that the server will still interpret as a dot dot slash and then another dot dot slash, um, but we can do a couple of things here. We can, for example, go for a dot slash between there. So what this is going to do is the first dot dot slash is going to go back one directory, but then a dot alludes to the current directory. So a dot slash will just select the current directory again, uh, and that way we don't have uh, the string that's not allowed, which is the dot dot slash dot dot in there. So if I do that everywhere, then we can go and try to execute that. Uh, and now I'll do etsy slash pass wd. And that works. So that is how we bypassed this protection here. Um, and now we can read files. So now that we can read any file that we want, let's see how we can get an RCE out of this local file inclusion, because local file inclusions are really interesting if you try to go for an RCE. And one of the main ways is through log poisoning. However, we first need to find a log, obviously. Um, so that is what we're going to be doing right now. We can, for example, try to see if there's an Apache log. So that's it would be in slash um, in, the, in the Apache log directory. So let's quickly Google that uh, Apache uh, default log directory. And let's see where that would be found. So that would be in var log Apache access dot log. So let's see if we can include that one. Uh, that seems to give us errors, but there's a weird space there. Uh, and even like that, it still gives us a lot of errors. So that's not working. Um, however, there's also this Apache 2 one, which might be being used. So let's try the Apache 2 one. Oh, and that one seems to work. Okay. Now we are getting somewhere. 
and it may not seem like we're getting somewhere because of, we just we just saw some logs and we can even see our ff logs in here uh, so yeah you can see all of them in here that's really cool but what, what's the point of all of this well in these logs we can obviously put something in there by just browsing to the website and, and, and using the website for example you see our ff logs uh here we input it fa first faster you fool because that's a user agent of ff so we can input data on this page and this page is running php so what if we input some php code in here that gets executed does that work well there's only one way to find out um so let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm just going to copy this URL and we're going to do that with burp. I'm going to use the burp browser here because that's nice and easy. Get a request going. Obviously, this is a Google search request, which is, which is not at all what I want. So let's go back to the browser. And let's make sure that we have HTTP prepended here so that we don't do that stupid Google search request and that we immediately get into our mafia live.thm one here. I'm going to send that to the repeater just so I can replay it if I need to. And then I'm going to modify the user agent and I'm going to change it and input some, some PHP code in here. I'll just do it right here. So, okay, my PHP code is obviously going to start like this. And now we have to uh, create a payload that's going to run. So I'm going to start with system because I want to execute something. I'm going to get RCE, so execute some uh, system commands. And then I'm going to uh, do a get a get parameter so that I have some user inputs that I can execute. And then uh, CMD is going to be my get parameter. And then, and then I can do CMD equals who am I? And then I get RCE, hopefully. So, okay, let's see if that's correct. Because if you make a mistake here, it might be that the, the log gets broken or that the file won't get included anymore. So you have to be very careful here that you do not make any mistakes because then uh, your whole attack scheme might be messed up and you might have to wait until the logs get rotated or something like that. Okay, let's send this request. And now let's try to view the logs again. Okay, the logs still get shown here. Now, can I add the CMD parameter to this? And can I say, well, I want to do a who am I? Um, the page still loaded. This or do we have our result here at the bottom? Or somewhere for that matter. Here, here we see Mose dub 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 data. LLA. So yeah, in this case, that did work, uh, which is quite nice. However, it's uh, <laughs> we we see it like in the middle of a page here. That's not really that useful. Um, so you can do very very many things to kind of go from this to a a, a shell. Obviously, you can just get a reverse shell going here, which I'm not going to get into in the video here, but you should definitely try that out. Get a reverse shell um, with a listen uh, on that cat and get some data back, get an actual shell and try to go for the root here. But as you can see from this, we actually have a code execution. So RCE on this server now. And if I scroll all the way down here with my ID, we can see here, okay, the UID is www.data. Uh, so yeah, that's how we got code execution on this Archangel box. Um, I highly suggest checking out Try Hack Me and trying the rest of this box. I also highly suggest subscribing to the Integrity channel if you want to watch more videos like this one. Um, and if you're interested in bug bounty, then definitely re register on uh, integrity.com and follow us on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back next week. Thank you.